What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video I'm going to be going over the absolute best teams in Madden that will set you up for success to win more games Whether you're an offline player or an online player You want to use the best teams in the game because it gives you a better chance to win and I'm going to break down Why these teams are the best I'm going to go over a couple honorable mentions and then give you my top five teams to use and kind of break down The things you want to look for when you're looking for a team now if you're new to the channel and you always want to be up to date on the latest Madden Madden tips to improve your game or the latest Madden news, make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that you never miss any of these important uploads when they go live. You guys have been showing so much love lately running up the subscribe button, let's keep it going up. So when looking at the best teams, there's a few rules of thumb. Okay, number one, you want at least a decent quarterback no matter what, because sometimes you're going to have to throw the ball. You don't want to use a team that has a liability at quarterback. Speed is always king. The more speed on your team, the better. Another important thing for Madden nowadays are abilities. You want to look for teams that have a lot of abilities because usually this means you have players that are mismatches, players that are a lot harder to deal with. Specifically, you really want to make sure you do have a team with a pass rushing ability player because it makes playing defense a little easier. It's a guy that can get to the QB a lot faster and it just makes it a little bit easier on you to play defense. So let's go over a few honorable mentions. First up, the Saints. They have pretty much everything you need. A good quarterback. They have good weapons on offense, not really a lot of speed, but they're a good team to methodically move the ball with, and they have a really good offensive line, which not a lot of teams have. They have the pass rusher ability with Cameron Jordan so they can get to the QB, and you've got a few other studs on defense like your Demario Davis, your Marshawn Lattimore, and Marcus Williams. The next honorable mention team is the Seahawks. I considered putting them in the top five, but I was just a little unsure, so I decided to put them as an honorable mention. You got Dangerous Wilson with all that mobility and the escape artist ability attached he can pretty much do it all you've got a ton of speed at wide receiver we already know speed kills and madden you've got a good veteran tight end with greg olsen who still has decent speed now the only thing this team doesn't really have is a superstar pass rusher maybe if they resign Clowney, that could make a huge difference but as of now they don't have the superstar pass rusher but everything else they got look at the linebacker speed bruce irving shaquille griffin you got the stud bobby wagner jordan brooks another fast linebacker they have kj wright the veteran in the second Secondary, you've got a pretty decent cornerback group with decent speed and all have good height. You have Quandre Diggs who's solid at free safety and then you got the newcomer Jamal Adams which really makes this defense unfair when you consider the speed and the fact that he has the enforcer ability along with Bobby Wagner. You have two enforcers on the same team. The Seahawks are a very very good team to run with this year in Madden. Next is the Texans, a little bit similar there to the Seahawks. You got the mobile QB and Deshaun Watson. You got some good weapons and speed on offense. However, with this team, you do get the pass rushing ability with J.J. Watt. He's going to cause problems. And you got a couple other studs on defense. You got guys like Bernardrick McKinney, who's pretty good. You've got some speed in the secondary. You've got Justin Reed. They're a really good team to run with. Another honorable mention is the Vikings. Again, kind of similar to the Saints here. Not a whole lot of speed, but a lot of good weapons. A team that you can methodically move the ball with. They also have the superstar pass rushing ability with Daniil Hunter, which is really good. And they got a few studs on defense. They got Michael Pierce. They're going to have guys like Anthony Barr, Eric Kendricks. And of course, you're going to have Harrison Smith, the best safety in Madden. Another good team to run with. A lot of balance on this team. And here's a wild card honorable mention, the Cardinals. Now, Kyler Murray throwing stats aren't the best, but he's got the mobility. He's got the escape artist. you got some good weapons on offense, especially with DeAndre Hopkins being added to the team. You do have a superstar pass rusher with Chandler Jones, and you have some other studs on defense like Patrick Peterson, Buda Baker, and the rookie Isaiah Simmons, who is a speed demon. Now, let's get into the top five. Number five, the Cowboys. Pretty much have almost everything you could want. Dak Prescott, just good enough. He's not a bad QB. He's got good enough accuracy. He has some mobility. You've got Ezekiel Elliott, one of the best running backs in the game. Has a whole bunch of abilities that make him even better. You've got a really good receiving core with Cooper, Gallup, and Lamb. Not a lot of crazy speed, but a team that you can methodically move the ball with. You've got one of the best offensive lines in football, which is really going to make it easy to run the ball. On defense, you have the pass rushing superstar with Demarcus Lawrence. He calls a lot of problems you also have Gerald McCoy you've got a crazy good linebacking core with a lot of speed with Leighton Vander Esch guys like Jalen Smith 
really really solid the secondary isn't the absolute greatest but you do have some speed with the woozy a and anthony brown you want speed in your secondary it really helps a lot in madden and then on the back end you got xavier woods haha -ha, clinton dicks decent speed guys but this is going to be a team you want to use if you're a little bit more of a runner you can pass the ball good with them too but with that offensive line and with ezekiel elliott and you have good pass rushers and linebackers on defense they're a team that's a lot to deal with Coming in at number four, the Ravens. And it's just, I mean, it's Lamar Jackson. Do we really need to say more? 96 speed, MVP. He's a problem to deal with. Not many people can run with him. Even in a QB spy, they can't keep up with Jackson. And he's got good throwing stats. You don't have a lot of speed at running back, but Mark Ingram is still solid. Wide receiving core isn't the best, but with a guy like Hollywood Brown, 97 speed is really all you need to know. And then these other guys here are, you know, serviceable enough. But you also have Mark Andrews, who is a really solid target and fast for a tight end you've got a pretty okay offensive line one of the better ones in the game so that helps out and then of course you do have a superstar pass rusher in Calais Campbell he's going to help you get to the QB you've got other studs on defense like Matthew Judon you have the rookie Patrick Queen at 89 speed remember speed kills if you got a lot of speed your overall doesn't need to be that high you're covering ground with a lot of speed then you get to the secondary Marlon Humphrey superstar player decent speed Marcus Peters really good Jimmy Smith really good Earl Thomas absolute stud and then you have uh, Chuck Clark back here not the greatest in the world but kind of a weak link on a rather star studded team Next, we have the 49ers. They were probably the best overall team in the game last year. They're still really good again this year. Jimmy Garoppolo, just good enough to get it done. You've got great speed with Mostert and Coleman at halfback. You can rotate them in and out to keep them fresh. Wide receiver, really the only weak link on the team. You do have Debo Samuel, who's okay, but other than that, kind of weak. But you got George Kittle, who makes up for that. The best tight end in the game. And he's got extra routes as part of his superstar ability. So it allows you to be more creative on offense because you can put George Kittle on extra hot routes than the typical tight end or wide receiver hot routes that most players have you have a pretty good offensive line with this team as well but the defense is where they shine eric armstead a superstar pass rusher d ford another really good pass rusher nick bosa your second superstar pass rusher you don't see that on a lot of teams then you go to the linebackers Quan Alexander a good linebacker with speed Fred Warner a really good linebacker with speed and then you got Dre Greenlaw not the best linebacker but decent speed and he's just good enough he's the weakest of the three linebackers then you've got Sherman a shut down cornerback with superstar abilities you might want to back him up so he doesn't get burned because he is a little slow but he's going to play really good zone defense you've got Jimmy Ward and Jaquiski Tart at safety just a really great defensive team with some fast players on offense a little bit more of a run heavy team in my opinion because the receivers are a little weaker but you're going to shut down people with this Niner defense Number two on the list, the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes, don't need to say any more really, but it's good to note he has escape artists as well, so he's going to be pretty fast. At running back, you've got, you know, it's okay. Uh, not the best in the world, but this is more of a pass-heavy team anyway. You kind of just run to keep people honest with the Chiefs. You got Tyreek Hill, 99 speed. He's got abilities. I don't need to say any more. You've got Sammy Watkins, decent speed, decent all-around receiver. And then you got Nicole Hardman, 97 speed. You have 97 speed and 99 speed at receiver. That makes it so hard to defend them. Doesn't matter how good you are in defense. There's not a lot of teams that can deal with two guys that are that fast. And then you've got Travis Kelsey, the second best tight end in the game. Much like George Kittle, he also has abilities that give him extra hot routes so you can be more creative on offense. And he's really fast. Just an absolute problem to deal with. Offensive line is okay not the greatest in the world but they're good enough to get it done on defense you do have some good guys like frank clark you have a superstar pass rusher at dt with chris jones linebacker is probably the weakest spot on this team to be honest with you secondary isn't the greatest either but this is a team where you're putting up points this is an offensive team but you do have guys like thornhill who's decent speed and then of course the honey badgers of b so really outside of chris jones and tyron matthew and frank clark nothing to write home about on defense but with the firepower you have on offense with this team that's really why you pick them because it's going to be hard for most people to keep up with you on offense and last but not least we have the Buccaneers another team that's going to just be a problem to keep up with on offense and the reason I'm going with the Buccaneers is number one is because of Tom Brady and his hot route master ability because that means he can get extra hot routes for every player on the field the tight ends the wide receivers and the running backs and that makes it a nightmare 
to play defense because you can put all the best routes on the field at all times now the running game not the craziest you got a couple guys with decent speed here but again much like the Chiefs you're picking this team to run up the score passing the ball and that's where they shine Mike Evans superstar x-factor receiver a beast then you've got Chris Godwin another superstar receiver you've got Scotty Miller who's not good but 94 speed it's good to have somebody that fast on your offense and then you've got Gronk and OJ Howard I mean you have receiving options like crazy and you have that hot route master it makes the Bucks probably the hardest team to stop outside of the Chiefs and their speed you go over the defensive side of the ball and you've got some pretty decent players there you got Nadama and Sue you got Vita Vea you've got Jason Pierre Paul you've got Levante David one of the best linebackers in the game you got Devin White at 92 speed one of the fastest linebackers in the game actually he might be the fastest linebacker in the game then you've got Shaquille Barrett a superstar pass rusher which we said was important you get to the secondary and that's really where the team's weak um, you do got uh, 92 and 93 speed here which is at least okay uh but no real studs in the secondary Antoine Winfield Jr. Jahir or Jordan Whitehead excuse me secondary is weak but again much like the Chiefs you're picking this team because it's going to be very very hard to match the scoring output and you do still have a really solid front seven so running the ball on you shouldn't be a problem and because you have the superstar pass rusher you should get home and you know get there quick enough for your secondary to hold up more times than not. That was the best teams in Madden. Let me know how you like this video. Comment below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I will see you guys next time.